All right, so let's take a look at this uh, question, this word problem, which is an application of the cosine law. Now, one of the things I like to do in a word problem is just kind of look through and pick out the information, the numerical information, so that we can label our diagram. So one of the statements here, it says the distance between Herschel Island and Whitehorse is 623 miles. So that's an important piece of information. And the distance between Herschel Island and Watson Lake is 723 miles. So what's a little bit hard to read on this map is where these cities are. So the top here is actually Herschel Island. So let's just do, put that in here. Um, and then this is the city here, which they're calling Whitehorse at the bottom. And then the city here is Watson Lake. So would help to if the map was a little bit clearer. But they're telling us that the distance from Herschel to Whitehorse here is 623. Okay, so that's a value of a distance. And then Herschel to Watson Lake is 723. Um, and then the angle between the two flight paths. So this is a, a plane, I guess, that flies from one city um, and then flies to the other city. And then there's an angle here, which is 17 degrees. That's how far the cities are apart. So we're asked to actually find the distance between Whitehorse and Watson. So it's going to be X here on this map here. That's going to be our distance that we're, we're looking to find. Because it says, what is the distance between Whitehorse or Watson Lake and Whitehorse? So we have a triangle here where we have two legs, two sides, um, and an angle contained in between. So this is the classic application for the cosine law. We're finding the distance or the length of the side opposite the contained angle. So we can just use our cosine law formula to simply write this out. Um, we'll start by using our variable unknown x squared, and that's equal to 623 squared plus 723 squared, then we minus two times the value, and we times it by cosine 17 degrees. So in your scientific calculator or calculator online, you can plug all those values into it, um, and you should get a value of x squared is equal to 49,363. Um, remember that your trig function needs to be in degrees, so just make sure that setting is set in your calculator. And then we take the square root of both sides and we end up with an approximate value of 222, um, in this case, miles. Um, I think the answer key is off by one unit there, 223, but if you verify the calculation, that should be, this should be the closer answer. Okay, so that's how that question goes. Um, the strategy is I, what I always do in these questions, like I say, is just circle the numbers and write and label them down on your diagram and then see what kind of um, values you have and then try to work, work it out from there.